Universal Credit brings six welfare payments together but dogged by delays Philip Hammond said the six-week wait for payments to be cut to five weeks move comes after intensive lobbying from backbench Tory MPs and charities B. Kate Ferguson, political correspondent for Mail published 0828, est, the 22nd of November 2017 updated 1306 est, the 22nd of November 2017 Philip Hammond today announced a £1.5 billion package of measures to to cut the waiting time for universal credit after facing a backbench Tory revolt over the benefit. The reform brings together six different benefits and ensures that work always pays by tapering off payments. But the Chancellor faced major pressure to reform the policy after warnings families were being pushed into poverty by the six-week wait for their benefit. Labour MPs and Tory backbenchers had warned that Britons were being forced to use food banks as Christmas approaches because of delays in getting their payments. Unveiling his budget today, Mr Hammond aid he recognised the concerns that many have over the reforms and announced a package of measures to address them. He said the waiting time will be cut from six to five weeks, while payments to claimants needing emergency cash before their benefit comes through will be extended. Philip Hammond today announced that he will cut the six-week wait for universal credit payments and extended emergency cash payments as he bowed to pressure from backbench imps announcing them to the Commons. He said, I recognise the genuine concerns on both sides of the House about the operational delivery of this benefit. Today we will act on those concerns. First, we will remove the seven-day waiting period applied at the beginning of a benefit claim so that entitlement to universal credit will start on the day of the claim. We have have looked at reducing the delay at the end of the first month assessment period but to do so would mean compromising the principle of payments being made on the same day of the month a key feature of the system which is very important for claimants in managing their budgets, so to provide greater support during the waiting period we will change the advances system to ensure that any household that needs it can access a month's payment within five days of applying, we will make it possible to apply for an advance and we will extend the repayment period for advance answers from 6 months to 12 months. Any new universal credit claimant in receipt of housing benefit will continue to receive it for two weeks. This is a £1.5 billion package to address concerns about the delivery of the benefit. His measures will be greeted with delight by Tory backbenchers who have been lobbying hard for reforms in the budget.